In the previous episode, you've seen me finally fill up the Patreon shrine, particularly the Sea of Blue. There's a few more things that I would want to tweak here, but they are insignificant, they are minor changes, so I can push them on to some other time. Now, what I wanted to do next is the adjacent section in the garden. This is the stream which connects to the bowl and the Sea of Blue in the Patreon shrine. Design-wise, the idea for that whole thing was it was supposed to be a hill, an Echeveria hill, and I've done a few iterations of this spot for the past few years. In this episode, we're going to do a bit of planning and see what we could do on the hill. As I said earlier, I finally finished working on the Patreon Shrine last episode and that's about filling up all of the gaps in the ground. I got so excited about this milestone that I shared photos in social media, particularly in Reddit and various Facebook groups, and it was met with a very good response. People loved it. Generated lots of discussion and it gave me the chance to retrospectively look at each section of the design, you know, nitpick, do some detailed view. And there were three things that stood out to me things that I would like to tweak, things that I would like to modify. They are so minor but they would still be clawing at my head. So I would have to do something about that in the coming weeks. The first issue of course I've already raised in that video and that would be placing some top dressing on these grage bowls. I think it's a no-brainer at least for me because I would like the bowls to stand out from the ground. Right now the ground and the bowls have the same soil composition. Right now the gaps aren't fully filled up yet and if you look at them closely there's still the same colors of the ground of the soil since the same soil mix was used. I would like to make the bowls look distinct from the ground and this is where top dressing would be very handy. I would be going with something light because light signifies an elevation so everything lower would be shadows would be shaded and everything lighter would be higher. But rather than just going with white pebbles I'm going with something off-white something a bit yellowish to blend with the grage bowls. It would be a bit lighter than the bowls. The bowls are a bit brown, beige. So something in that color scheme would be perfect. Now speaking of color scheme, the second issue that I have with this design right now are the large tall pots that you see on the pedestals. The way they look right now, they are not contrasting enough from the plant. The plants that I'm using are more or less the same hue, the same shade, the same range of colors. and I really like the contrast that the lighter bowls, the paler bowls are producing. But if you look at the dark brown pots, the plants are not standing out as much. It seems like everything is muddied, everything is blended together. And personally, now that I am aware of it, it's sticking out like a sore thumb. So something that I would really like to do is to replace those pots with something similar color as these bowls. And besides doing it that way would mean that there would be consistency between the pedestals and the bowls. Everything would look the same, very uniform, and that would be more visually pleasant. Now the third and the last thing that I noticed is something right here at the very edge. If you compare both the right and the left edges, there are lots of plants on the left side but it is a bit sparse on the right edge. So I just might have to fill it up. No dramas there. This is the next part of the garden that I wanted to work on. This is actually adjacent to the Patreon shrine. You can tell by the big bowl right here, this is the stream which connects to the Sea of Blue. Now this entire area, this is one of the first few landscapes that I made in my backyard. And I used to call this Mount Echeveria. It has undergone a few iterations. This is, I think, the third or fourth design now. With the first design, it was just a simple mound, simple mountain with lots of Echeverias all around in a terrace. And I think right at the top was a, was a bush of Senecio Barbertonicus. It's still somewhere here in the garden. I just can see it right now. Oh, there it is.
inspect it closely right now, you can see that there's lots and lots of lots of growth basically. Everything, everything you see here has overrun, has overgrown their spots. It's getting a bit tight, and I think this mountain requires an overhaul. So what I intend to do before I think of a design is just to clear up the spot of the non-essential plants, the plants that I don't intend to keep here, and that means everything apart from the stream. With everything removed, I think it would make it easier for me to think what I would like to put in here because it's easier to add stuff than to just remove stuff, at least in terms of planning. With every project, the first step would always be planning, but without cleaning up the area, without seeing what I'm up against, it would be hard to plan. So, clean up time. Clear. Now what am I going to do with all of this space? I'm thinking of having this go back to its roots as an Echeveria mound. I used to have this as my nursery for, my, for most of my small Echeveria plants. And it seemed like those that I place here would be growing crazily if they do not die within the first year. You could clearly see that in the growth of the Echeverias in my Echeveria tray that I pulled out just now. There would not be a specific design here. For the moment at least, I'm just going to randomly plant a bunch of Echeverias. I've got several Echeveria in pots that I'm getting quite frustrated seeing their growth rate. They're being quite slow with their growth and I've had them here for over a year now. I believe close to two years. A year and a half. So this Mount Echeveria around the stream, this tends to be a booster of sorts. The plants that I grow here, provided I give them enough space, enough airflow, they grow fast, they grow large. And it has to do with the big space that I give them. I've had a few issues with snails and slugs and weevils eating the plants, but I'm not concerned with those types of pests. It, they are easy to... The damage they do is not permanent and it's relatively easy to control them rather than mealybugs. So, this spot, I think, is relatively mealybug free or at least it has been for the past couple of years. It's mostly just the larger insects infesting this area. I'm going to look around in my potted plants, see what I can put here, let them grow, plant them in, and leave them alone for a, a season or two. By the time spring comes, I might be able to use them in the competition, assuming they do not get further damage. Before I could do that though, some soil replacement is necessary. I love the sight of fresh soil mix. So bare, lots of possibilities. It makes me so excited just thinking about what I could place in there. As for what I'll be planting in there, some of the plants that I pulled up just now are still tiny, so I, I could put them back in. And there's a lot more potted out here that I could use. They could use some boost. We will be planting and lots of ID opportunities here.
they're all in now. I might be adding more echeverias down the line because there's still a lot of gaps between the plants. I gave them lots of space right now because I know that some of them would be growing really large and that's the main goal anyway. And I do not want to unnecessarily stunt their growth by making by constricting them, making it crowded. I'm going to give them a few weeks or maybe even months just to settle in and once I start seeing a bit of growth that's probably when I could start adding more plants because I do not want them to be rubbed of any space or at least they, I would want them to be able to send out send forth their roots without any without any obstructions and since my soil mix is pretty loose it, they won't be having any problems with that so yeah just give them time that's going to be the first iteration of the current work on Mount Echeveria. I'll be making more changes down the line. For now, Mount Echeveria is just a nursery of Echeveria, so I'm going to be redesigning it, doing the layout on it. It will be quite a while. I'm expecting that it might happen sometime next year. There's no rush. That means I'm now free to work on the other parts of the garden. It's getting a bit dark and I'm quite hungry, so I'll see you next episode. Bye. Series Capades is made possible with the support of my Patreon sponsors. Patreon allows you to support content creators like me with a small monthly donation. You can pledge your support by heading over to patreon.com slash If you're in Australia, I've got some of my plants for sale. Check out my plant shop at seriscapades.com slash theplantshop with dashes.